Hi guys, this is K99, and this is the first video in my series of how to make coins on FIFA. Uh, sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird, it's just the microphone's acting up a lot. So, the first thing I want to talk about is contracts. So, if I go to my active squad, once this loads, you'll see that everybody has more than 10 contracts except my goalkeeper, which is weird. But what I usually do is when someone gets the one contract, I send them to the trade pile and sell them for exactly what I bought them for so for example we'll use Tecklenburg but I won't actually sell him I bought him for 2k so I'd probably do around 2600 and 2700 by now and then just go and search for him in the market so what was it gold you, you get the idea uh, and obviously buy him for exactly what you sold him for or less uh, and that just saves money because you don't have to buy contracts and you won't lose much and that'll be about two to three K every you know, every few games. So that's the contracts and the other thing is fitness because loads and loads of people waste money on uh, gold fitness cards, you know, squad fitness and all of them. And there isn't much point because it's just a waste of money. So what you should do is either have two squads and put one squad as one's bench which is what I've done here and the other way is I think I have with my career team to to use subs for every position once I find that team oh no wait I don't even have it anymore okay well let's just say for example let's just use the England team I don't have subs on here but you know oh yeah my French team yeah so what you do is for example you have one sub for goalkeeper one centre back one left back etc and every time one of these fitness gets below 90 you just put the respective sub on and that means their fitness will go back to 99 and that also saves you a bit of money and the third thing I wanted to talk about which is by far the most important never ever buy card packs especially the gold ones because the only ones that will eat most like that will, you know, like one in five of you getting a good player would be the bronze packs. But apart from that, the rest are just a waste of money. And it's so hard because I got an achievement in like the first four months of FIFA of buying 200 card packs on PS3. And the best player I got was Ibrahimovic, followed by Torres. And then after Torres, is all the way down to Michael Essien, you know, Reyes and... Danny and all of them so yeah it's not it's a real waste of money never ever buy card packs they're terrible anyway yeah this is k 99 thanks for watching please like subscribe and share goodbye